Wells and welcome. Are you ready for today's news? Well, me too. So today we're gonna be talking about RBG. We're gonna be talking about, wait, 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 Cliff! What? Stop messing around. I'm doing some really important business right now. Open, open the door. Cliff, I really need you to get it together, man. We gotta be serious. I'm always professional. Focus, I need you to focus. We have company coming in. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, guys? Cliff, you got some fan mail, Mr. Handsome. Okay, cool. There's powder on this. Oh my God. Cliff, uh, uh, yeah, this almost happened to the president. A letter that contained resin, a highly toxic compound, was sent to the White House by a woman in Canada, but officials detected the letter as it passed through the New York and Canada border. This isn't the first time an attempt like this has happened. In 2018, a Navy vet tried sending mail with resin to Trump, and in 2014, it happened to Barack Obama, and the guy that did it was sentenced to 25 years in jail. Cliff, Cliff, the bit's over. We can we can move on. Good. Okay, we can move on. Good okay. job so dying though. That was so believable. La gracia por tanto amor por tanto apoyo. Mi respeto y la gracia a todas estas personas que han sacrificado. It's a bad bunny. Are you sure it's not a funny bunny? <laughs> On Sunday night, Puerto Rican singer Bad Bunny performed on the top of a bus in the streets of New York. Wait, so Bad Bunny is an actual person? Yes, it's a real person. Don't you remember when he dressed like Dr. Oh, Evil and performed with Shakira at the Super Bowl last year? He also just released a new song called Una Vez. Oh yeah, the street show was 90 minutes long and it started at Yankee Stadium and ended outside of the Harlem Hospital. The performance was put on to honor the essential workers and Hispanic Heritage Month, which started on September 15th. Don't you listen to Bad Bunny? You know what, now that you say it, I do. And I'm half Puerto Rican, so que viva Puerto Rico! Woo woo woo! Yeah, también. Oh, by the way, if you like this video, make sure that you like and subscribe. Now let's get back to the stories. Cliff, seriously, I'm still pretty hung up on you playing dead. Like, so realistic. Okay, I practiced all weekend. I'm so proud of you. Like, are you even a trained actor? You know, method acting. I'd die a time or two for the, you know, for the cause. <laughs> for the cause. Well, you know you could have won an Emmy with how well you acted. Speaking of the Emmys. I know, let's talk about the Emmys. <laughs> The 72nd Emmy Awards happened last night, or as Jimmy Kimmel says, Welcome to the pandemies. Jasmine Cephas Jones and her father, Ron Cephas Jones, became the first father-daughter duo to take home an Emmy in the same year. That is father-daughter goals. The legendary producer, Norman Lear, broke his own record and became the oldest Emmy winner at age 98. Streaming services, Quibi and Disney Plus received awards for their shows, Hashtag Free Ray Sean and The Mandalorian. Emmy at 98? I hope to be able to put on my own diaper at 98. Week two of football is complete. The GOAT of NFL quarterbacks, Tom Brady got his first win as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. The Cowboys came back in amazing fashion from nine points down with two minutes left to beat the Panthers 39 to 40. And the Pats took an L against the Seahawks, even though Cam had a great game. So Sherry, what was your favorite game to watch? Oh my gosh, I'm a Cowboys fan. That game had me in fetal position the entire time. Actual <laughs> footage of Sherry watching the Cowboys game. Oh my God. Stop fumbling the ball! Mask testing and temperature checks, oh my! These things are coming more and more common as precursors before any event in the COVID era, and the cruise industry is no different. The Healthy Sail panel made up of Royal Caribbean and Norwegian Cruise Line leadership submitted a 65-page document to the CDC as the no-sail order is expiring at the end of this month. The report includes 74 recommendations to help prevent both the introduction and spread of coronavirus, including having passengers tested up to five days in advance. Now, let's go get on a boat with thousands of people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you going on a cruise? <laughs> no. Some terrible things have happened in the United States, but one can only hope that we learn from those bad things. Our hearts are still mourning after the death of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg last Friday. The notorious RBG defied gender norms in a time where women struggled to be heard. In 1956, she was one of nine women enrolled in Harvard Law School in a class of 500 men. Later, she transferred to Columbia Law School and became the first woman to be on two major law reviews, the Harvard Law Review and Columbia Law Review. After a fierce law career spanning 30 years, she became the second woman ever appointed to the Supreme Court in 1993. She passed away due to metastatic pain Created cancer at the age of 87. Thank you, RBG, for everything you have done. You will be missed. Well, thanks for tuning in to Ibble Bits with us. My name is Sherry. I'm Cliff. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah, that was such a great show, Cliff. Yeah, not Good bad. Good job. I'm so proud of us. Nice show. Yeah. <laughs>